Hello YouTube, and welcome to Bubble Hearthing, your righteous retreat to some casual hearthstone. And as promised, we are actually going to go for an arena match. I know, it's been crazy. Arena run. Hopefully we'll do something. It's probably going to be broken up because, well, it's late and I don't want to go to sleep at some point. But let's just get the ball rolling. Okay, so here we go. And I do, I would like to receive this, this golden Gilvan McIntorque. So yes, I will indeed be giving you $2 of my hard-earned money. Yep, you, it's okay. I, I I trust you. Please enter your password. Um, password for PayPal? Okay, cool. There we go. Uh, let's see. Where's my Gelbin? Yay! One Gelbin for me. That's actually not even a legendary card, but it is a golden Gelbin. So, hey, look at that. Be a hero. That's me. Alright, choose a hero. Okay. Well, of the options for uh, Garrosh, Velira, or Gul'dan, I, I gotta say, I like Gul'dan a lot. I played him in my first arena and failed miserably. When, not, I, I won two games, that was all. Um, Velira is not a bad choice. I actually don't have any combo cards in my deck at the moment, though I don't really know how to build a rogue necessarily. And warriors are usually solid. I really do think like a warrior deck is a very good deck. Um, I don't know if I'll just get the cards I need to be able to use cooldown. See, both of these don't actually have abilities that affect the board at all, though. Uh, rogue is out. Let's see. Okay, between Gadosh and Gul'dan. I feel like I haven't... Oh, actually, I gotta go with my favorite guy. I'm sorry. I have to. Alright. Alright, oh my. So, let's see. We can get rid of the Doomsayer. Um, immediately we get a Pit Lord already. So, very... Very strong creature that has a very big drawback. Or do we want to go with the Faceless Manipulator for uh, some options to copy something a turn afterwards? Hmm. I think... Honestly, I think the the faceless is gonna have more of an option to be useful. But if we're winning, I gotta say Pitlord. I have to say Pitlord. Okay. Um, I see Young Priestess is the only one that makes sense there at the moment. Uh, Shadow Bolt's good for removal of these. I believe Dragonling Mechanic is nice. Let's see, Priestess of a Loon. What would you do? Let's see, South Sea Deckhand is um is not a good idea. Is a bad one. Um, let's see. Restore four health to my hero. Let's see, but just looking at the stats, it's better to get a draggling mechanic. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Deckhands out. It's Harpy versus Raid Leader. Uh, not really sure if Raid Leader is very good. Harpy isn't that good either, though. But we can have a interesting, you know, thing later on. Because I, I don't really know how many things we're going to get. How many creatures I'm going to get that are going to be able to be powered up. Um, let's see, Hellfire. I was drawn to this before. And it made me lose so many games. Because it was like, well, I don't want to kill all my creatures. And then it's like, well, I don't want to kill me. Yeah, and I have no demons right now. Spiteful Smith. Even though I can't use his enrage ability, it's a good card for five mana. Uh, let's see here. I'll take the Blood Imp. Why not? Actually provides for some very nice trades. Alright, uh, Storm and Champion. Gotta go for you. For some late game punch. Uh, let's see. Dwarf versus Shadow Bolt. Let's go with the Dwarf. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is obviously out. I already have one Pit Lord. Yes. <laughs> that is my response. Is yes. Alright, Storm Pike Commando. No, let's go Drain Life. Alright, some more removal. Removal is good. Absolutely not. Um, and absolutely not. Early game stuff, that's good. Well, not that much early game stuff, holy crap. Um, two Shadow Bolts isn't overdoing it, but do I, would I rather have the Succubus? I don't have any thing that makes me discard otherwise. I actually don't have any two drops at all. So, I'll take this for the sake of putting in a two drop, and I have a few removal cards as it is. Uh, let's see, another Draggling Mechanic. I'm staying away from this like, like all hell. I just, I feel like that's the opposite of what I want. Hmm. Argent Commander is very good. Pyromancer, uh, not as good with my Blood Imps, I'm gonna say. So Commander wins this one. Uh, let's see, Loot Hoarder or Frost Elemental. 
Uh, I only have one, two drops, so let's go for the Loot Hoarder. Uh, Mortal Coil is a great card here. The other two are pretty crappy. Alright, let's see. Another Young Priestess. Uh, I don't want the Arcane Golem. Don't really need it that badly. A Void Terror. Uh, it's a decent later game. I mean, Young Priestess is basically a pumped up Blood Imp that is vulnerable to a few more things. Um, I don't really need that ability, but on the same hand, same time, Void Terror isn't really necessary. Um, is that really necessary? Um, no, it's not. It's a demon, but I don't have any demon things. I don't have any demon fire or anything like that. Um, it's good with Shadow Flame, but I don't. I haven't seen any of those so far. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Young Priestess to try to have a more solid early game. Uh, same goes with the Flame. Very good card. Corruption. I don't trust it. Uh, oh my, early game it is. Swordsmith. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we have in terms of threes? Oh, jeez. Two things there. And neither of them are creatures. Got to go with the Crusader then. Let's see here. I imagine I'm going to be doing quite a lot of trading with these little guys. So Cult Master is the way to go. Really? Okay. Okay. Although I've been avoiding you like the plague, I realize that these two are even worse. Well, actually, you're fine for your stats. For a two drop, but I have plenty of one drops. I can drop two one drops on turn two instead, or I can just use my hero power and turn four. I have a lot of fours. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, already a sixth of the deck is fours, and this is trash. Um, Hellfire. I, I can't deny that Hellfire is not a horrible card. I just don't care for it very much. How many turn ones do I want? All the flame imp. Uh, let's go. Hmm. I, I already just said I have a lot of four drops. Power of a roaming isn't bad. You can give my guy a little punch more early game. That would have been good with the um the void terror, but I don't have that right now. I don't have that anymore. Um, let's see, do I want to just go for another three drop instead? Since all I have is a it's probably a crusader. I feel like I should really go for another three drop, even though Silver Moon Guardian's totally better. Uh, let's see, as far as four drops though, Cult Master, Dark Iron Dwarf, two Dragling Mechanics, and a Pit Lord. Yeah, gotta go with the three drop. Okay, uh, another three drop, very good as well. Good for trading. Uh, oh god, these are all terrible. Hmm. Well, this is good against Jaraxxus. You face Jaraxxus! Uh, let's see. Dollar and Mage isn't as is, is bad as well. I don't really want early game cards, but you, I'm, when am I ever going to be able to use you? Like, gaining 5 health? It's, it doesn't matter. The only case you'll be good is against another Warlock. At least you have some abilities that you boost up, so I'll just go with that. Uh, like a Mortal Coil, for example. Okay. Uh, do I want the Commando? Oh, here's the curve, duh. Okay, I think I don't actually have... I have one 5-drop. Uh, I have plenty of turn 1 things. I can't really take any more 1-drops, even though there's only a couple left. And to finish everything off, do I want a Doomguard, a Demolisher, or a Wild Pyromancer? I feel like a Doomguard's actually the way to go here. A Demo... Well, I was talking about 3-drops and wanting a few more of them, but I have 1, 2, 3, 4... Plus a few other, plus a couple spells I can use in turn three, so I think I'm solid there. As far as turn five goes, though, uh, I only have two, and a Doom Guard's a very nice finisher there. I'm not really worried about turn two necessarily, because I'm probably just going to drop two one drop creatures. Hmm. Here's a problem though with that: if I play a turn two, and then turn three comes around, and I decide to use a spell at all, it's probably going to wipe whatever I play turn one. So Doom Guard for the sake of that. So here we go. Okay. Uh, I say I'll play for about half an hour, and then I'll break this up into another part. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay. I estimate this deck will go 12 wins. No, I, I don't. I, th I think it'll go like 3. If I'm lucky. I mean, hell, if I get like enough to make my money back, then that'd be great. 
even though it actually put money in and not gold. Sacrificial pact, why? I should have chosen you. Okay, let's see here. Uh, do I want the Pit Lord? Not. Considering I have so many later game cards, I, so many early cards, I should say, I don't want any of those three. I should get one drops. Exactly, there we go, okay. That's another important thing, is just to understand how your deck works. Blood Imp, all right, that's a fine opening. Yeah, what else is a fine opening? A Flame Imp. Do I have to? I'll get right on it. How does that work with a stealth creature? I honestly don't know. Am, am I able to attack? Oh, it just it just isn't even stealth. It's just not even it doesn't even count. That's silly. Okay. Um Hmm. I say I attack him directly and then just drop a loot hoarder or drop a void walker. Huh. <laughs> That's where I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Hit him in the face. Because I can. He's gonna keep getting health on that thing though. Oh my god, that was a stupid idea. I should have just killed the thing. But he's gonna get health in whatever you place. Uh the important thing is he doesn't get damage. Void Walker it is. And make a coin out of loot hoarder. It's a little early for using the coin. We'll wait, because we do have a gap later on. In, in terms of mana curve, so I'll use that to bridge the gap wherever I find it. Gonna attack, okay. Let's see what gets the bonus health. That does, damn. All right. Not too happy about that. I'm probably gonna play you turn four. Um, but this turn, I really would like to clear his board, and I can do that very inefficiently, which is terrible. Um, or I can play the Flesh Eating Ghoul and deal with it half decently. I will submit to half decency for now. And I really don't want him to be able to do anything with that. I'll hit him in the face. Because that region Worgen can get out of hand very quickly. Especially with my Void Walker there. The, the, the one attack. So let's see what you do. It's gonna Shadow Bolt, okay. Problem is, this thing's gonna trade forever. And I can't. I just, I can't have that. I. Oh my god. Uh. No, Spiteful Smith will take care of it, though. Okay. So this is the case where we coin out Smith. Okay. I will save the Shadow Bolt for a creature that actually counts. That, like, really does matter. I was really curious to see how that interaction went when you put Taunt on a stealth minion, and it does absolutely nothing. It neither removes the stealth nor actually gives it Taunt. Although technically, I don't know. If you had something that said, kill a random Taunt minion, two, and then you're just going to hit me in the face. So I can't. No, I can still. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Oh, Hellfire. Not a bad idea, oddly enough. Um, yeah, let's... Do it. We can do that. We can Hellfire. And then, sure, I'll Moto Coil that. I have no regrets for that one. Okay. I like that play. I feel pretty good about this game. <laughs> I know one play suddenly turns it around for me, but it really. Oh, and there goes that one. Alright, well, let's see. What can I do? I can destroy everything! Or I can... let's see... I can play a loot hoarder... I can do this and attack into it and then... whatever. Um... Oh boy. I would like to play the loot hoarder, actually. And then hopefully he attacks it. And then I can just Shadow Bolt it, but then he's probably gonna be able to, uh... Mortal Coil the loot hoarder. I'm just gonna go ahead and say he probably got some. Let's see, six, that'll tie up all my mana, though. I do have a slight lead, I don't want to lose it, but there's no way to kill a creature this turn. I don't want to play the Argent Commander. Just go for his face. Hey, 
Now it's out of motor calling range. Look how that worked out. You do have to, I'm sorry. It cannot be cordled moily. Okay. So let's see, what does he do now that he dropped his Dread Infernal? Please, please trade, please trade. Not trade, but please kill it. Do it, go on. Do it. So many possibilities. Do it. Or you can do that. Oh my, I have two things to deal with. Okay, yeah. Why? Pit Lord, not the card I want right now. I just have to survive to the next turn, then I can Twisting Nether. Um, hey, give me that. that almost makes me want to like attack that way, but that's not the best idea. Well, I can Argent Commander into his creature afterwards, and then Mortal Coil it. And that'll get me two cards instead of just one. Or I can just Mortal Coil his Chelsea Deckhand right now. No, let's let's do this. Let's do what I said before. Flame Imp. Okay, card that I can't play. Thank you. Much value. There we go. Okay. I'll be sure to attack him before I actually um, play the nether. But that's basically my turn 8. Come down to a... Nothing. Definitely... Is he trading? I almost don't want to right now, but no, it's, 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 there's no way I should leave those two out in the field. Um, the only reason I don't want to is because I can uh, Shadow Bolt his Dread Infernal. But look at this! Oh my god. Such cool. Okay. Cool. So turn 9's coming up. He's gonna life tap, so he's out of options. Cool. Does he have a turn 7 thing? He has... Oh, That's not good. Actually, it's fine. I can Shadow Bolt it. Can't Shadow Bolt that, though. Where is... Do I have a taunt? Do I have any taunts? Hmm. That moment you ask yourself, where is my taunt? Uh, Alright. I feel the need to do that just to make sure I remove it from the board. The Might of Stormwind will be, be held. Let's see what he does here. Tapping again. Cool. Ooh, well, there's a taunt for you. Of course, the... That's useless. The taunt will kill his creature. Um, hmm. It's actually going to kill mine in the process, too, unless I find some way to not attack into it. And I don't have any. So... The Alliance! So he's left with a three. Oh, and that's perfect for killing me. Hmm. How unfortunate. Well, there goes that game. I choose death. No, I can life tap. Now I choose death. Such a shame. I thought I showed promise. But unfortunately. That did not occur. Okay. Well, let's try another game here. Let's see. Let me see if I have any taunt. Do I have any taunt in this? Uh, oh, cool. yeah, I have my Void Walkers, but it's not much. Uh, no. No taunt of particular value. Well, that's a. Uh, that's a thing. Here we go again. Maybe I can put the whole run in here if I go 0 and 3. Even some good people go 0 and 3. Okay, it happens. Hopefully it only happens once, though. Hopefully it never happens again. Alright. Let's see here. Yep, there we go. Alright. A little bit beyond that 0 to 3 seconds. But that's okay. I'll let it slide if I win. See, this is the this is the perfect thing. A, a warlock versus a priest. Your soul shall be mine. I'm totally winning this game. Hellfire is horrible for me in the early game. That's not bad though. Oh, should have held on to that hellfire. Yeah. 
I do have the slight thought that I might want to actually play both of these on turn one. Just because being able to buff that up a little bit is a good thing. Let's see. Yeah, I want to. Is it, is it another other? Give another random friendly minion plus one health. Okay. So you can't just wholly smite it down. That's one good thing. I hope you like my invention. I hope you like my invention. Nope. Your invention sucks. That's all you got, buddy. Unless you have Circle of Healing, and by all means, Circle of Heal Me. Hmm. Is this really necessary? Yes, it is. More training? More training? Yeah, there you go. Um, and by all means, drop a card. I don't really see something I need right now. I'd rather have this extra damage. Please drop... Uh, that was the more valuable one. I rather would have seen the Twisting Nether go. But, at least I still have the Cult Master. And a pretty strong Imp. A rather strong Flame Imp, if you ask me. So this is a pretty good early game. Uh, I don't know if I quite have the uh, ability to ignore all of his creatures. He didn't even attack. Well, there's a misplay for him. Um, As the master wishes. More training? If I'm going to trade with anything, of course, it's going to be the little limp. Uh, and I feel as though that's a good thing to do now. Don't ask me why. Really but I feel like I want to kill this creature. Play like Crusader. Let's see. And I healed it back up. You see, look at that. Perfect. This is a very good star so far. I'm just rolling. And look, if something mess gets messed up by turn four, all I have to do is last four turns. Definitely killing that thing. And now that I have my Cult Master, I present to you an effective trade. Join or die. I think you'll agree that that is really necessary. Every single time, it has healed the Flame Imp. Well, given the bonus health of the Flame Imp. Imagine dropping a 3-5 on turn 1. That's kind of what happened. Actually, a 3-6, because I took one damage from it. Okay, I have to determine whether or not I care. I... do care. I care about you. And all the things you do. Join or die. Let's do that. And then let's just bolt it. Alright, cool. And do I want to drop another flame imp? I really don't. Because well it shouldn't really matter. It should win either way. This life tap. Just for the heck of it. Oh! Oh, you gave it to the Crusader. You've betrayed me. My one true friend. Mind Vision? There's one card that you definitely can't use. The only thing that could possibly help you is drain life right now. No, nope, you get a Blood Imp. Okay, good game. You shall not pass. Still GG. Uh, yeah. Still GG. I don't know. See, I'm, I'm not doing all this math in my head. These two have to get through. Yeah, it's still fine. Well played. Because I can just say something like. I mean, hell, I can just Doom Guard. But, okay. Uh. Actually, let's hit him with that. Oh, now I can't Doom Guard. Oh, well. <laughs> Awesome! That was a fantastic game. Okay. Now we're back on track. We're doing what we should be doing. See that? That's the early game. Carrying us into the late game. Carry us to the win. Actually, there was no late game. It was mid game. It was early mid victory. Okay. That's it. We're just rolling. And now we're going to roll from here. That's all. See, the question is, will I put that Galvin Mechatork into any decks that I have right now? I believe the answer is no. 
but he's Gelbin. Hmm. Okay. They're pretty good against these early, early game decks. Let's see here. We don't want you. We don't want to wait till turn three for anything, actually. I like you, but uh, can I afford to hold you around? I'll keep the flesh eating ghoul. I'll see if I regret that in a moment. Yes. <laughs> yes or no? I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Where are all them one drops I threw in here? I don't know. One drops, two drops, I'm getting nothing. I'm just gonna have to... Life tap. Alright. Well, R Razor Gun Hunter is a better th turn three play. Unless he does something crazy turn two. I don't know what the hell he could do, but... No, that's okay, it's fine. And let's see. Yeah. Because if he even if he even if he kills the boar, I can just uh, coil it and get some value. Then I can actually flesh it in ghoul coil, so I get a stronger creature. So hey, why not? What you gonna do is you gonna attack the boar. I mean, it's what makes sense. Some spell power. It's just hit me in the face. All right. Well, now you're giving me the option of clearing your board. So I don't even know if that was the best idea, but hey, I'll take it, right? Flesh eating ghoul, uh, and now I actually get even more out of the ghoul. Cool, 5-3, not bad. I think that was actually pretty good. Trades with ghoul are okay. You're hashing a goal. That's fine. I I feel like I can live with that. I'm not upset with that at all. Who knows? Maybe we can make like a super awesome <laughs> hexed creature. Uh, but on turn five, I feel like a really good play would actually just be the Smiteful Smith. Show him he hexed the wrong thing. Not necessarily. I mean, it was a 5-3, so, you know. Okay. So I like this. This is, again, the early game. Carrying us into the mid-game. Interesting, since I can just run into it with the smith. I think I might actually just use a Shadow Bolt, though. Most likely. Okay. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Hmm. But if I use a Shadow Bolt, I can't Pit Lord afterwards. Yes, indeed. Alright. Well, it's decided then. I will indeed Spiteful Smith into it. Unless there's something I can use that costs two. There's not. Unfortunately. I can Life Tap, but then... That'll kind of kill the chances there anyway. So, uh, I'll do that, and I'll probably just throw a young priestess down. Pit Lord Priestess. Unless I want a life tap, but I don't really want to lose more health right now. There we go. And with any luck, it will heal up the frog. Not a bad thing. I got to pick the Pit Lord and not die immediately. Perhaps later, but not right now. He is the lord of the pit. The mosh pit. Look at that. He's totally like raving out. Or rocking out. I don't know. I don't know where mosh pits usually accumulate. He has all these cards on his hand. How many cards? Eight? I have five. But I have quite a few on the field. So I do have an advantage at the moment. Let's see if he plays like a lightning storm or something. Any of that mass removal that shamans have. Or just that crazy earth taunt thing that like 7-8. I think it is. That overloads him for quite a bit. No, okay, he's probably gonna play a totem in conjunction with that, hoping to hit the uh, the smith. Let's see. Oh, well, that was a pretty good aim. Can't knock him for that. I'm gonna have to kill that, but of course I do have the... Uh... I could use a priestess somewhat regretfully, but it's not terrible. Um, I'm gonna wipe his board, definitely. 
he is he doesn't manage to clear the pit lord, which means I'm gonna get some good value out of that thing. Or at least even value, I suppose. Um let's see. Oh. Cool, I'm not to lose a creature for that. I can clear his board. And let's drop a crusader. There we go. Some protection from any sort of mass um, AoE damage. And my pet lord survives to fight another day. I'm assuming he has some sort of follow-up though. Since he knew I could clear his creatures even before he um, before he ended his turn. But I don't see that. Okay. Well, I obviously say he can't do anything about his jungle panther. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 15. Hmm, don't have enough damage this turn. Uh, I can mortal coil, I think. Nothing that he can run into is actually going to um, stop me at any point. Okay, uh, cool. Join your job. I can ring it down to two. It's not a terrible thing at all. Um, but I don't have any... Oh, and then I can just storm my commando next turn. He might have a way of healing. I'm gonna opt for the swordsmith. And... Why not? I'll draw some cards. A card. Sure. I'll give myself a stronger shadow bolt. Okay, so that's where the stuff went. Okay, fine. Let's see if he can survive. So this is where... This is where shaman are just turned into regular men. This is where we divide the shallows from the men. That's what I was worried about. See, if he had any way to heal up, then it would kind of ruin my whole charge into you when nothing happened because of my win. Oh my. He's filling his board with threats, although all I have to do is kill his taunt and go for his face. So he knows that he lost. Well played, my friend. Well played indeed. I've got a huge Okay. There we go. So, a fine game indeed. And there's two. So already, I've... I'm all... Provided I do win another game after this, but this is better than my last arena run. When I went two, and then then two, and then I lost again. All right, I think I can probably fit one more game in here before I call it a night. I am a night person. Let's see. That pit lord getting in some work. I like that, especially in this economy. It's hard to afford, you know, playing a pit lord. But he proved himself. He'll get a good recommendation for the future. Hmm. This might be tricky, because we're playing against more control, but we did pretty well against the shaman. Which is usually a control deck, so... Feeling pretty good. Uh, let's see. Don't want those two. Loot hoarder's fine. Although he does die to his hero power. Um, doesn't really bother me too much. Flesh-eating ghoul, good card. Ah, uh, no turn one play. Alright. Happens. Happens not. It never happens. Gonna coin out, what, a raptor? That's, I mean... Hmm, pint size. Interesting. Basically gets him a second, uh, coin for free in this case. As far as minions are concerned, at least. Alright, well, do I want to... If I play the Priestess, it's just gonna die. At least you give me a benefit for dying. He's probably just gonna use his hero ability, though. But I wanna actually make him do that, because then he won't be able to play a creature. So he has the option of yeah, playing a creature or using his hero power. Hmm. Unfortunately, here. I can't get through his taunt. Which is really not good right now. Um. 
I could play my Flesh Eating Ghoul, but it would just die to his Grizzly. Of course, the turn afterwards, Hellfire is a very good card. Um, I think the best option is to Life Tap. And then just pass. That's all I can do. It's unfortunate, but... Tis the way of things. I'll break that flower. Oh, please don't attack my loot hoarder. Okay, well, I think we know how this turn's going. Oh, please tell me my hand isn't glitched out too badly. Okay, it scooted over. Oof. So I do have the hand advantage at the moment, actually. Five to my seven. Which is just due to the hero ability and the Lu order replacing himself. And he actually just played a two cost minion on turn four. So this could be decent. Um, I could just throw out a Stormpike Commando and try to take back the momentum. Uh, let's see, alternatively, alternatively nothing. Let's play a Stormpike, Stormpike Commando. There we go. He is now reacting to my plays. Hopefully, he does so poorly. Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a fair play right there. He's gonna aim for me in the face. Not a problem with that. Let's see, the question is, do I want the Argent Commander right into him? I think I just wanna play a Dark Iron Dwarf and just hit him in the face. And then I can play uh, a Blood Imp. Yes. Yes, I can. I do. Blood Imp, yes. And hopefully, okay, let's see, cross my fingers, it actually gives it to the commando. Yes, there we go, okay. He'll just have to use his hero power um, to knock it over if he wants to do that. Or possibly, I don't know, some spell, swipe. Alright, he opened the gates. Which is good for my uh, Argent Commander Mortal Coil combo, which will be utilized right now. Uh, is there anything else I'd like to do? No, none of my creatures are going to die for it, so there's no point in trying to find some way to use the flesh-eating ghoul. I choose victory! Definitely choose victory. Okay. Hmm. I, I didn't really have a choice there. Uh, let's see. I can either go for his face with both of these. The thing is, druids have a lot of ways to help creatures. And if he manages to get another big taunt out, it's just going to get this guy out of control. I do want to remove that threat from the board right now. And look at that, he healed him up a little bit too. He's nice. My Blood Imp is a, is a very kind Blood Imp. He does things for the good of his people. Let's see, a Sea Giant. A little late for a Sea Giant, but okay. You got one mana to throw around, buddy? You already used your coin on turn one, so hey. Okay, wish I had a... I wish I had a better way of taking care of this, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to throw my two creatures at it. That's all I can do. Uh, I can try to... Let's see, life tap, maybe I get a... Something else? Okay, I wanted a Shadow Bolt, didn't get it. Oh well. I can't let this thing stay on the field. Let's see, with the remaining mana, let's play Spiteful Smith. Uh, Voidwalker? Not necessary. So let's play the Young Priestess instead. Oh, right. Wait, look at the. Oh, at least he's out of swipe distance. He's probably gonna hero power into it with that. Oh, okay. That's not terrible. It's a Flame Imp. Let's see if I can tap into a. Into a Shadow Bolt this time. No Immortal Coil. Okay, not ideal at all. Uh, but... Ideal is not something we can aim for. Flesh-eating Ghoul, though, is indeed something we can aim for. Trade. Trade. There we go. Uh, let's see. Hit him in the face. And with four mana... Let's play that. 
case I have to get more trades going, then it'll definitely pump up my uh, flesh and gold more. More fodder for that. Okay. I like this. I seem to have some sort of synergy here. I don't know how, but I do. Another iron bark? What can you really do here? Starfall. So that clears all but two of my minions. Okay. Which actually gives my flesh eating ghoul a huge boost. I'm assuming he has a way to deal with that immediately, though. Please be a claw. So you at least take six damage. Nope. It's a wrath. It's a wrath. Okay. He's gonna hit me with that, I assume. No, he's hitting the dragon lane mechanic, of all things. Okay. Hey, why not? Let's see, what do I want to... Ah, I want to play the Succubus at the same time. I don't want to risk actually losing a card. That'd be very good. Um, that's Imp. Let's do that. Hit him in the face. Do I want to bother with the Voidwalker? I don't care so much about that. I like the Mortal Coil. Um... And I feel like I need to keep the Twisting Nether. Uh, at the moment, I feel safe. That's the moral of the story right now. I feel safe. I feel like I'm doing pretty well against this druid. Even though I'm throwing out all these little, like, early game minions at the very end of the game. Um, he's not going to be able to play anything big now. For five, although it is going to be difficult. But let's see. What do we have in right here? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, cool. We got a game. <laughs> Granted, he can definitely shape shift. If he doesn't, he's going to lose. Earth and Ring Forest here. Where shall I ah, a taunt. This is where I wish I had something that could hit it for five, and then I can use Mortal Coil. Okay, Dalaran Mage. Uh, actually, that works because now I can hit for four. Oof, it doesn't work ideally, but it works somewhat. Uh, let's see. This will hit for two now, so I have to bring it down to four. So we can either do two minions here, or two minions here. Still four damage. Let's get rid of two weaker minions. There we go. Oh, did I, did I just win? I did indeed. Awesome, Doomguard. I'm so happy I chose you and the Pit Lord. This is why I like Warlocks. Alright, three and one so far. This is, of course, this is easily my most successful arena run. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that key. Oh, that looks so nice. Okay. Well, seeing as it is quite early, late, seeing as it is now, I am going to call it quits for the moment. And when I get back to you, we will be finishing this off, or possibly just doing another one of those Blizzard DQs, who knows. But thank you for tuning in, I'm really excited about this, and this is Hearth... <laughs> this is Hearthstone, yes. This is Bilbo Hearthing, signing out.